Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. So today let's show you how the garden looks. We got these asparagus and strawberries down there, and then spaghetti squash. I think it looks dying because there are so many ripe ones on it. I think it kind of produced, you know, told it to quit producing. And uh, swing around, tomatoes. Got a lot of tomatoes on these store-bought ones, a lot of ripe ones. And then the heirloom organic ones I grew from seed. Not quite so many ripe ones, but I got a lot of tomatoes on them. Then we have the green peppers. And at the very end, I can tilt it up just a hair, we have the tobacco. So let me get to harvesting and I'll show you what we get out of it today. We have a visitor on my tobacco. That's number two. Do you see it? Right there. Tomato hornworm. Yeah. And we're going to pull it off uh, and squish it. No more tomato hornworm. All right. Let's show you what we got today. We got some tobacco starts. I took the blooms off of one that started to bloom because I didn't want it to bloom. I want it to keep growing. And then down here, I've got a couple of stalks that the tomato hornworms had their field day with that I am going to try to root. And I'll just enjoy these flowers. And then we've got some striped squash. The striped squash didn't do as good as I'd hoped. You're looking at the tomatoes and you're thinking, why does she have green ones there? Well, the issue is, is once they start to blush, I have to pull them. So, it looks like I got a couple of bobby tomatoes. I'm getting better, Bobby. But I had to pull them if they started to blush because... They're either getting eaten by the birds, got two here with bird bites, or they're getting overripe and rotting. These are all the cherries down here, and uh, they feel pretty meaty, not real juicy. So, and then I got a couple more green peppers. Had to pull some of these off because they had damage. Not anything like the last harvest. We have a little bit of stevia here. And uh, we got sunburn going on on some of the tomatoes. I got one tomato plant that's at the end of the row that all the tomatoes look like they have sunburn. And then the spaghetti squash. We've picked one since then. We had to come out here and check the water. Uh, unexpectedly, but uh, so we picked one. So all of these plus what we picked already. The vines were dying because all these were on there, and you'll notice they're really yellow. So the overripe ones are the ones that were way ready to pick off. See how bright yellow that is? Um, and that was one of the green ones. They kind of started killing the vine. So hopefully now that there's only four left out in the garden, hopefully they'll start producing again. The striped squash has a whole bunch out there. So I'm real excited about that. And there's still a lot of tomatoes out there. So I'm going to bag up the heads of the tobacco. And then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so one done. So now i got to decide which one of the other two I'm going to bag up. Because I've only got one more cheesecloth with me. So let's see. The way I'm going to do this. Sorry for the movement. I want you to see what I'm going to do is I'm going to come take a look and see how many of these flowers have popped off and how many of the casings have started to dry and then come over here and do the same thing hmm you know 
they're both pretty much at the same stage. This one's got a bunch of dry pods in the center I can pop off. And this one is just starting to get dry pods in the center. I think this one has more flowers, so I'm going to do this one. So what I've got is I've got a piece of cheesecloth and some string. And uh, thank you, Min Mound. Sorry it's dirty, but if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have this wonderful knife. Thank you so much, my friend. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to cut my cheesecloth. So, or my string. At least not that easy. All right, now remember this is sticky. So it's a little difficult to get the cheesecloth over because you don't want to grab the leaves and you want to make sure you get the base of all the flower stems. And don't leave any holes because these seeds are really tiny. We'll go over on that side to do that side. Get up in there. All right. So now I'm going to walk around the plant. And you get to see me in my glory. Ha! And uh, try to tuck this. In here, yeah. See, I think I pulled it too tight because I'm not getting any over here. There we go. And now I got none over here. See what I mean? It's not as easy as you think. Hmm. <laughs> we'll get it though. Yeah, if I just not cut my cheesecloth, it probably would have fit perfect, but then I would have only got one head covered. And I really want at least two heads of seed. Ooh. Seed pod. We'll open that one up and see what it looks like. Get this tucked over this. And then we just tie her up. And I'm using a bow so that I can get it off later. Alrighty. So that's two pods done. Now let's see if these seeds are in here or if they all fell out. Get to get it where you can see it. There's the seed pod. And if any of you know about tobacco seeds, they're really itty bitty. Well, maybe they're in there. Another casing. It's my first time with tobacco, so we're learning together what they look like. And I don't see a single seed. Hmm. Nope. Nada. Nothing. Which means either it wasn't fertilized or they just haven't formed yet. Unless those are them. I bet you that's them. Wow. Do you see those little specks on my fingers? Probably not. Those are tobacco seeds. Okay. Grow tobacco. We'll just let them grow. They're very, very small. I can tell you that much. So, you really need to do something to catch them. This cheesecloth may be just a little thin. We may have to do a second kind. Different kind of cheesecloth. Maybe like a cotton blend shirt. Okay, next time we come out, we'll, we'll change it up. That should prevent the pods from blowing away, at least. 
just wanted to show you what the seeds look like. Those are the seed pods. And in this corner, those are thousands of seeds. Just thousands of seeds. See them? And that's just two pods, and that's only what's leaked out. So there you go. That's what they're supposed to look like. Blessings.